What is naltroxone, also known as Vivitrol? And is it a viable option for MAT or medication-assisted treatment? Could it be the thing to help you or a loved one stabilize your biological symptoms and get sober? I sat down with Dr. Jennifer Montague, who in simple and clear language explains what naltroxone and Vivitrol are and how it can help someone stay sober long-term. Hey, I'm Clint with Sandstone Care, where we provide age-specific treatment for addiction and mental health conditions. Let's go. Naltrexone is such an interesting medicine. So what naltrexone is, it takes up the slot of the receptor for opiates and the reward receptor for alcohol, but it does not activate the receptor. So you could envision like a baseball glove. The baseball comes in, but doesn't actually act on the glove in any way. It just sits there, just making sure that no other baseballs can come into the glove, that the glove is busy now and it can't be activated by any other of the baseballs. So if somebody were to relapse and try to fit a fentanyl baseball in there or a heroin baseball in there, the receptor would be like, nope, I'm already taken up by naltrexone and I will not be responding to other drugs that come in. So naltrexone is what we call an antagonist, meaning that it antagonizes the receptor, but it doesn't activate it. It takes up the place of, but it doesn't activate. Basically, it prevents someone from getting high or nearly as high if they use which can also reduce cravings over time. When naltroxone is in your system, the drugs don't have nearly the same effect on you. But with methadone, you have to take it daily, and naltroxone is different. Interestingly enough, is it can decrease cravings when given in a long-acting formulation. So the most common brand name of this formulation is Vivitrol which is a 28-day injection that you get once a month of long-acting naltrexone to help you stay sober and if you do relapse, not allow any of the other substances to reach that pivotal on-off switch in your brain. Vivitrol is a long-acting or slow-releasing form of naltrexone. But is this for everyone? Does it work for all drugs? Does it work for alcohol too? So what's really interesting about naltrexone and Vivitrol is that they have a role in both opiate use disorder and alcohol use disorder. And so people who are studying this are really looking at the relationship between reward behavior. So what the opiate track is often about pleasure and rewards. And if you block that, you actually not only block people's ability to get high, off of opiates, but you also block the reward from alcohol. So it's really surprising because you'd be like, what does the opiate pathway have to do with alcohol? Apparently a lot. And we're still learning the association between the two, but basically giving naltrexone to somebody who has alcohol use disorder increases the number of abstinence days per month, decreases the number of drinks per time that they decided to drink, and overall decreases the cravings for alcohol. It makes sense, right? Why would I continue to drink if I'm not getting drunk? I don't care what you say, nobody drinks something that much for the taste. Like Kool-Aid tastes good, but it's not making anyone go broke or flip upside down and do a Kool-Aid keg stand. Another way to think about this is like coffee. Would you still drink coffee if it didn't give you that buzz? For me, that's a big hell no, and I drink mine black. I know that there are some strange and mysterious people that drink decaf, but I think for many others, the answer would be no too. If you want to learn more about medication-assisted treatment, then check out our other video in the description box and at the end cards. Leave us a comment with any questions you have about MAT or any of the medications connected with it. You can reach out to us by going to sandstonecare.com or using the number in the description box below. You'll be able to talk to a real human who will get to know you and your situation and connect you with the help that you need, even if it's not with us. Listen, addiction is real, it's common, but it's also treatable. 
I'll see you in the next video.